How did he save them? Well, it says here that the fire had no power over them. So think about power structures here. Nebuchadnezzar is the, the God-man of all the world, the King of kings, Lord of lords, all peoples and nations and languages will worship me. Sound familiar? Well, yeah. But that's him. That's what he thinks he is, yo. And he's got all the power and he has the power of the fire and this fire is mighty and it will destroy you and there's nothing you can do to defend yourself from the fire. And to Nebuchadnezzar, that's his power. And they go in and they realize, yo, they, <laughs> he can't even believe it. It has no power over them. These men have been empowered. They've been protected by divine might from heaven. It had no power over them. What does that mean? It means that it didn't even touch them in any way. Their hair wasn't singed. It's not like you just lowered the temperature, you know. Their hair wasn't singed. Their cloaks were not harmed in any way. The fine fabric was as beautifully embroidered as it was when they went in. There was not a thread out of place. And this one really is it. There was no smell of fire upon them. When you go to that bonfire, you know, when you all throw the, put all the gasoline on it and do that, um, you know, you're not in the fire, hopefully. Hopefully you don't put your foot in there by accident. <laughs> there may be a kernel there. Um, you're not in the fire. Your clothes, hopefully, are not catching fire. But I know what does happen. When you walk in the house, guess what? You smell like smoke. You've been at a bonfire, tisk tisk, right? Because it clings to you. And this tells us that, yo, there was like an interdimensional thing going on in that fire where it literally wasn't even touched. It was, they, were, they were separated from it in every way. It was unable to affect them, even on that level. And they had never seen anything like this. And all the prefects and the counselors, they all come together. They all see it. They all bear witness. No one can deny what has happened. It's the most amazing thing ever. And because these guys weren't prideful going into it, because God didn't empower them to save themselves in some amazing way, which would be really cool, but because they were totally helpless and God saved them entirely on his own, he, he gets all the glory from that. It's amazing. So when you find yourself in situations in life where you're done, you are toast, it's over. There is nothing you can do to make the situation work. You might be ripe for God's salvation. Because when he saves in that way, he gets all the glory. All the glory. And we all had to learn that when we came to trust in Jesus, that there was nothing we could do. And that he did it all for us.